What's up, Do You Even Blog tribe? Pete McPherson here from Do You Even Blog, and in this video, I am going to give you a full tutorial for the world famous tool for podcasters, the Alphonic Leveler. <laughs> So let me take 60 seconds to tell you what Alphonic is and what it actually does. Put 60 seconds on the clock. Alphonic is a browser-based post-production tool where you can just upload some raw, unedited audio and it just spits back the audio way better, sounding way better. Now more specifically for podcasters, it has a leveler, which is gonna make the loud parts a little bit softer and the softer parts a little bit louder and smooth out all the speakers and tracks in your podcast. It has built-in noise and hum reduction, remove some of that on its own automatically. It also has some other key effects, such as limiters and compressors and high pass, blah, blah, blah. And my favorite part, it has loudness normalization. <laughs> where you get to hit that magic minus 16 or mi minus 19 if you're going mono, luffs. You don't know what luffs are, I don't know what luffs are. Who cares? Alphonic makes loudness normalization mm, a piece of cake. And there's a ton of other features that just make it super easy to just put audio in and it makes it sound better. It's amazing. So let's actually just do one first. For those of you in a hurry, I thought it might be nice to just do a simple production through Alphonic. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to do a multi-track production. And then I'm going to talk about some of the more advanced features. So this is a podcast interview. I have some sound at the beginning, some music. I have a little voiceover, just me talking. And then I have an interview and then I have some outro with more voiceover and me talking as well as some music. Now I took all of the effects off of all the tracks and the final mix down and I just exported the entire thing as an MP3. No effects, no leveling, no volume adjustments, nothing. The only volume I changed actually was just reducing this for the single track off on it. Now, here is the test MP3 file. I'm actually just going to drag that up into off on it in just a second. Let's go over, let's click new production. I'm in my account logged in right now. And we're gonna talk about presets in just a few minutes. Stick around for that, that's super amazing. Now you can do things via uh, FTP or you could just select file. I'm just gonna drag this MP3 in here. You can see it popped up right here. And now let's go through the basic settings. So you can tack on an intro file and an outro file. For example, if I had a bit of free music, for example, here is just some random audio that I could do as an intro, select that file. And you can choose to overlap the, the main podcast file. And you can also do the same thing with an outro to like tack that on there automatically. I'm not gonna do that, but you could do that. So this is where you can put in your title, your cover image, artist, album track for podcasting. I do all this on my podcast host, but it can be nice to go ahead and put this information in here just because really <laughs> you're welcome to go ahead and do that. Extended metadata, same thing. Subtitle, a summary description of the episode. And you know, the standard URL back to your website, the year, the genre, if you want to, a bunch of like, tiny details that you can do here, including tags. These will push through to your podcast host if you choose to do FTP integrations, which again, I'll talk about in just one second. You can add chapter marks if it is, you know, what you do. I've never ever done these ever, but you know, lots of people do add chapter marks. Output file, now we're getting to the good stuff. Pay attention to this. Wave, MP3, as well as a ton of other things. <laughs> well, I don't even know what half of these things are. Waveform data file, MP3 is mo mostly what you're gonna be going for here, right? Choose your bitrate. I usually do 96 or 112. You can also choose a file name suffix. It gives you the output file name right here, test for Alphonic. But let's say you always wanted to keep things organized. I would put like dash, maybe like a space dash final. And that way they'll always export test for Alphonic. We'll talk about that more under presets in a minute. Here's where you can choose to make it stereo or mono. I, uh, I always choose mono for my podcast. You can also do multiple output files, by the way. If you wanted to do a wave and an MP3, you could totally do that. Speech recognition, we're actually gonna come back to in just a minute. Publishing, external services. You can actually push this through to a lot of different podcast hosts, depending on where you host, or through FTP to pretty much any podcast host under the sun. You can do that right here. We're actually gonna talk about that in a minute as well. Now, here's the juicy bit. Here is where you can apply some of the basic alphonic effects, for lack of a better term, noise and hum reduction. If you haven't done that when your audio already, remember that I did 
absolutely no effects, no noise reduction, no compression, no limiters, no audio effects of any kind on my files here. So I'm pretty much going to choose all of these. Noise and hum reduction can reduce some frequencies. Loudness normalization, well, if you don't know what that is, you can go Google it, or maybe we'll talk about it in a few minutes. You can choose your targets right here, minus 19 LUFs. <laughs> is generally preferred for mono podcast. Uh, minus 16 for stereo, and sometimes people just choose minus 16 loudness normalization anyways. Adaptive level editor, again, that's going to level out and balance the loud parts and the soft parts of your audio and kind of make everything, it's going to compress that audio just a little bit. Filtering, I legit have no idea what that is, but you can click this button and learn more. They got all the different things. They got a full help article here. It's really, really cool. And it just gives you all the details of what this process does. Now, you can also choose a reduction amount, a noise and hum reduction. If you turn this off, you can't do this. Noise and hum reduction. I like to do auto, but you can even just make it like a, a very small de-hum, de-noise at like 3 dB. Or you could turn it up here to like 100 dB, like complete noise reduction, move that sound down to zero. I recommend just using auto. So I got my file upload. I usually don't touch any of this, any of this, any of this, any of this. I make sure I do noise and hum reduction for my podcast that I didn't reduce noise beforehand and I hit start production. It'll let you know how many credits you have remaining, et cetera, et cetera. I'll give you a few more details and then you hit start production again. So as we're waiting for this to upload, I'll just say this. You can actually close your browser after it's done uploading. It'll have a few more steps after uploading files, and it'll actually shoot you an email notification where you can just download the finished MP3 to your hard drive. And so actually what I'm going to do before I go into a multi-track recording, I am going to uh, download this here in a second when it's done. I am going to bring it onto a new track down here and just look at the waveform. I really want to see how much, see how this waveform is like really, really small and this music was like super, super loud. And you can see the waveforms are like massive right there. I'm going to import what they export. And we're going to take a look at the waveforms. So just see what it did. So I'm actually going to make another track here. Again, it's got no effects, nothing like that. Once it's done, I'm going to download it and toss it on here. All right. And it is done. You can see this is the original input file right here at the bottom. <laughs> look how much it added right here. It's crazy how much it added and level things out. This is the output. You can click right here to download. You can actually listen in the browser right here. I just imported this to Logic Pro. This is it right here, right down here. Look how much different that is from like this, these waveforms up here. You can see how bigger they are. Added a bunch of gain, leveled everything out. It also looks pretty steady right here. Like there's no huge peaks and huge valleys uh, where the audio is. Let's take a listen really quick. Here is the original. And we also just talk about developing confidence. And here is the <laughs> Alphonic version. In your content creation, I would argue this applies to snail mail, there you go. podcasting, right blogging, doesn't matter. You find all of that information of Back full of information. Bonus hack right okay. here. At the very right. So there you go. Hey, BTW, I have another little video right here. Me starting a fresh podcast from scratch, in which I also use Alphonic, as well as some other free tools, free hosting. You should go watch that video right there. Boom, BTW. All right, let's run through the multi-track production. I love this feature of Alphonic. So here is that other podcast. I trimmed off the beginning, so it would be shorter, just so we could see. And I also removed the volume automation, as in I'm talking right here, but you can't hear me because of the music. <laughs> You can't hear me at all. I want to see what Alphonic does to lower that volume on autopilot. So I actually selected all of these. I exported the tracks and music, track one, track two, and my voice over. That would be the, those four tracks. One super important note here, and that is it needs to start at the beginning. All these exported tracks started at the beginning, even though there's silence on this one right here and silence on this one right here. They all started at the beginning. If you're using a different... DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, not Logic Pro, like Audacity or something like that. You just need to make sure to insert silence and make sure that all of your tracks that you're going to upload to Alphonic start at the same time. That's very important. So I'm going to go over to Alphonic and click New Multitrack Production. That was a little, uh, you know, Bruce Willis, Fifth Element reference here. Track 1 Identifier. You can type in a name and identifier for the track. I'm actually just going to put in my voiceover right here. Drag that in to that. 
And you can see I got my same noise and hum reduction. I got my filtering. I'm gonna do noise and hum reduction again. And I get to choose. This is a foreground track or a background track. I can choose duck this track, which is what I'm gonna do for my music. That means it's gonna lower the volume automatically whenever it sees that, oh, this is a background track underneath some talking or whatever. Uh, or you could, you know, just leave it unchanged. I'm gonna leave this to auto, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add another audio track. This is going to be my track one. This is gonna be that one. I'm gonna noise and hum reduction, add another track. You can see what I'm doing here. Track two, and that's gonna be that one. I'm gonna add another one. I'll do noise and hum reduction on that too. And this is gonna be the music one that I'm actually going to change down here. This is going to be a background track, but I'm gonna put duck this track. I want it to automatically reduce the volume while I'm speaking here at the end. I'm gonna see if it does it. Hopefully it will. Who knows? So intro and outro, I don't care about metadata. I never put this in here because I use my host. MP3, mono, yep, yep, yep. Bit rate 112, that's fine, blah, blah, blah. I got my leveler on here still. I wanna do the loudness targets again, of course. I'll just do minus 16 and I'm gonna hit start production again and it will take just a minute or two to upload and we'll see what it spits back. And actually, while it's uploading and processing, I wanna point out that they actually have two desktop apps. This is in the browser right here, but in case you don't wanna use the internet or you don't wanna bother with uploading files like I'm doing right here, they actually have the normal batch processor. This is just for like one file, not the multi-track, but just like uploading the final mix down. You can actually do a bunch at the same time, hence the word batch right here. And they also have the multi-track processor, which I'm doing right here as the, a download as well on a, a desktop. And these are, by the way, not free. They cost, I believe, something like 80, 90 bucks, but it's lifetime. So this is especially useful if you do a lot of the multi-track stuff like I do right here, and you don't want to pay for like credits every month because you only get two free for from Alphonic. You pay 90 bucks once, it's lifetime, and then you just, you know, it's good to go. And you don't have to like upload anything. And they do have a trial version that you can try it out for like a month or so. All right, and it's done. Here are the four tracks. I told you they started at the same time right here. And this is the output. You can see it leveled off some stuff. And the music, you can actually see right here, it brought up when there is no talking. And it brought it up. So let's download it and I'm gonna pull it back into Logic Pro and we're actually just gonna see what it looks like. I'm just gonna rename this test for now, pull it back into Logic Pro, put it on another track, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, there we go. You can see it did the same thing as the single track Alphonic version, but I wanna hear this ducking down here. So I'm actually gonna solo this and let's see what happened here. Let's start with the loud stuff. <laughs> You know, another really great way to grow there your you own go. podcast. Now you can hear me Read talking. iTunes Isn't that amazing? reviews, or I guess I should say, read Apple Podcast and reviews, end, but in funny up. accent. Boom. Y'all have a wonderful day. Adios. So cool, right? You upload all the different tracks of your recording and automatically ducks the background music. You don't have to worry about the audio or whatnot. Oh, so handy. By the way, I totally, totally forgot to talk about Alphonic pricing. How much does it cost? It is free for two hours of processing a month. They give you two hours every single month, no questions asked, 100% free. If you need more than three hours a month, there are three things you can do. Number one, you can buy a subscription plan, which starts at about, oh, $11 a month, $23 a month. You can see it right here. You can also buy some one-time credits that you can just like leave in addition to your two free ones a month. This is what I do. Pay like 10, 20 bucks. It'll give you a couple of hours and just whenever you need it, if you go over two hours a month, you can just use your one-time credits up and they last, well, forever. They're one-time credits. So let's talk about presets, all the different settings I had when I uploaded one of these. What if I just like could, you know, not have to select all that stuff. You can actually create presets. If you actually click up here in your account, you will see all of your presets. You can create a new one just by clicking that button right there. And you could be like, well, I always want to have MP3, mono. I always want to put dash final on the end of my file name whenever it outputs. I always want to upload via FTP to, I don't know, Podbean, Libsyn, my host, whatever. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. Or, you know, I always wanna do hum reduction, minus 19, luffs, blah, 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 save preset. Uh, please correct the errors above. I need a name, what? And then you come down here and click save preset. And now, whenever you do a new production, you can actually just choose this preset and you'll get going nice and quick. So let's talk about some awesome integrations under your account. If you go to services, 
you can actually connect a lot of different services you might use for your podcast hosting. Let's say you want to upload to Alphonic and then have it automatically pushed out into the internet sphere into your host of choice as a draft or whatever. You can totally do that. So YouTube, Libsyn, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Blueberry, a bunch of them right here. If you don't see your name right here, you can generally just use FTP or SFTP. You can also, of course, push out to Google uh, Drive and Dropbox and stuff like that if you want to as well. If you don't know what FTP means, by the way, I don't know either. <laughs> You're a good company. But you can actually just go Google your host. For example, Podbean is what I use. Uploading files to my account using FTP. You'll need to set up some credentials like a username and like a password or something. And you will connect those here in Alphonic. Enter a display name. Here's your like host name. You'll get all these like from your host or whatever. You hit save. And then you can actually, when you're creating a new production, just click, oh yeah, I want to automatically send, upload this file from Alphonic to wherever, FTP or one, using one of their built-in integrations like this, Spreaker or Blueberry or Libsyn or whatever. Pretty cool. Or Google Drive. Uh, same thing with automat automatic speech recognition services. By the way, if you're actually using these things, I suggest you go read a little bit more. I just click the question marks here. It'll open up the help articles. They have really good help articles on Alphonic.com. Like these are really well laid out with images and lots of other links. It's kind of handy, right? So if you have Amazon transcription services or Google, by the way, you can, those are both uh, free, I believe. They use Google Cloud, but I'm pretty sure it's free. Uh, you'll have to enter your API key and et cetera, et cetera. I don't have any of that stuff, you never do that. But if you do have that, it's actually pretty easy to integrate. And then once you do a production, you just, you know, choose it. You saw where it was a few minutes ago under productions and you're good to go. Boom, 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 boom. So that is all for this tutorial. I'll leave some other videos here. Please consider subscribing if you are a blogger or podcaster or otherwise looking to make money from an online business. That's what Pete and Do You Even Blog are all about. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck using the best tool on the internet for podcasters, Alphonic, and I'll see you next time. Adios.